Grand County schools will reopen Monday, the first day back for students and teachers after evacuations from the East Troublesome Fire. Some lost their homes in that fire, and school leaders say when classrooms reopen, learning won't necessarily be everybody's top priority. Here's 9 News reporter Jennifer Meckles. Watching the fire was um, like something out of a movie. They are still processing what they saw with their own eyes. The flames were so fast, and um, Wednesday night was horrifying and Grand County teachers worry what their students saw too and I can't imagine what the children that were maybe being evacuated from their homes witnessed on their way through through town. School leaders say all staff and students in the evacuation zones have been located safely. At least three staff members lost homes and many families just don't know yet. Many of them didn't know and, and quite honestly some still don't know about you know the status of their home but uh, we know they're safe, we know they're taken care of, we know they're fed. People are coming back to Grand County now, and for those who can make it, schools here reopen on Monday. But learning will not be the top priority. We just feel it's really important for, for kids to get back with kids, uh, for our staff to be able to reconnect with each other and with, with their kids. Um, and, and quite honestly, for, our, for our, many of our parents, for their kids to be back in school in some sense of normalcy so they can maybe have some time to, to really get clear headed and think for themselves what you know what what needs to happen next for the kids and the staff who can't make it back yet. The district promises support and flexibility. Everyone knows trauma needs patience. It's really important for the kids to see each other for people to see each other through through COVID and through loss of of homes and through tragedy. No, this isn't normal, but the district believes classrooms with children inside is a step in that direction. What's going to happen when you walk through those buildings on Monday and see kiddos in uh, desk seats again? There's going to be one, a lot of hugs that want to be had and hopefully that can be done safely because I don't think we'll be able to to not have that. Jennifer Meckles, 9 News.